Hey everybody, this is Brett, and um, I wanted to put this video out there as kind of a notice for y'all because I had forgotten that it was a full moon. It's called a blood red full moon eclipse, I believe. And bear in mind that I'm very, very new to astrology, but I'd watched Tom Lesher's video and others on astrology because I'm trying to learn this week I'd watched it and I said to myself you better beware because you know that shit happens to you on the full moon I mean shit gets crazy for me in all regards mental physical spiritual and emotional and then I went and forgot and so I wasn't like prepared for this because I've been sick. I've been so freaking sick. And it just amplifies. The full moon amplifies it all for me. And it brings up like my demons. And we all have those. And it forces me. Like all of this healing, this deep, forces me to just pray to God and reach out for help as I've done by sending an email out to my viewers and I want to thank all of you that are with me on this um, and, and I want to bless all of you that are going through some of this hell that I am going through and like I said remind you that tonight I, I suppose it's tonight is this blood red full moon and you see I don't this is not psychosomatic with me because I don't have a deep deep belief in astrology but it's getting deeper <laughs> it's getting deeper no doubt because the more I experience this crazy shit the more I know how real the effects of at least the moon on me personally are so I sent out this email. The first two email responses that I get from my viewers are, Brett, you know it's a full moon. Full blood, blood red full moon tonight. The blood red full moon only happens once in a blue moon. <laughs> At least I can laugh about it a little bit. I've spent so much time crying and praying to God to get me through this oh my god I have been a toxic freaking nightmare and anyways so uh, then I realized oh yeah it's the full moon no wonder no wonder Even my mom, the nurse, said for years and years that whenever it's a full moon, the hospital is crazy. Any nurse will tell you that, for those of you that are skeptics. So, I mean, if it has the effects to, to, do the, to, to make the waves in the ocean, you know it's affecting us. Each of those planets out there are affecting us. And the time you were born. I've gotten two natal charts, which is the chart that you can that shows where all the planets were at the on the date, time, and place you were born. And they're so accurate; it's absolutely there's no denying. It's for me. There's no denying. And some people, it blows my mind how good some of the astrologers are out there and oh, man it's like it's so makes me so envious like wow they are so powerful some of those people out there and I have been getting a lot more intuitive and psychic the other day I thought of this person that's also a guru, a YouTube guru, for so, no reason. She just came into my mind two days ago. 
And I was like, hmm, wonder what's up with that. I got on my email. One of my viewers said, hey, Brett, do you know this girl? <laughs> do you know this? Have you seen this girl's emails? She lives right by you. And I think that you two would make a good, a good match. And I looked at it and I was just like, oh, my God. See, I have all of this spiritual and intuitive and, and like, psychic energy in my charts. At the same time, I have all this deep, deep, heavy challenges that doesn't surprise me that this life is one of healing for me. And it's scary. It's like really, really scary. Because the more intuitive I get, yes, it can be good, but it can be bad, too. It can be very bad. I mean, unless I know how to handle it. And I've noticed myself getting more and more this way the more I've cleansed and healed my body. And now, when somebody says that they're intuitive and I look in their face, I can feel that various people, they, you can see that they are. For me, I can. And, and it's just crazy, the different, like, you, for somebody that can relate to this, that likes sports, you see somebody... That's a great tennis player, or a great football player, or this and that, and they just wow you. They just awe you. And you're just like, wow. And you get jealous, you know? You get jealous like, man, I wish I could do that. You see somebody that performs like Neil Young. When he was in his tw early 20s, you can see videos of him just cutting it out like nobody's business, like he was born. He was born to be a musician. And it's so mind-blowing to me to think that different kinds of people have such different and huge talent and abilities that they were just born with. And it's very humbling to know that I only have some things that I'm really good at. But there's an endless number of things that you might be good at. And to figure out those things is such a, an eye-opening and heart-opening experience. <sighs> So I want to thank you for joining me. Be well.